akaniambia peleka daktari kando ongea na yeye nilipeleka daktari when i had no public service kwa lago tupugu ita kene na igi ligea au kine tinye geta shin do kite shin you know we are mourning our colleague we are mourning a true teacher na najua ni ngumu tunasema asante na boxing day yetu itakuwa mom's death anniversary so we don't have uh sana na endelea kutukaripia hivyo na kusaidia hivyo pia inapokuja kagware isongee pia kule kimela maraba sali siku ya mwisho chekondo anampeleka ndio mama atamana yeah. basi nafasi ya sasa ya dakika chache tu tunamba Harriet kwa niaba yao regrettably what we have witnessed in recent uh, times is that the judiciary and the courts have descended into the dust of the political arena and we have seen various court orders being issued to stop the universal health coverage to stop the affordable housing and these orders have frustrated and sabotaged his excellency's government and by extension have frustrated um, the people of kenya the role of the judiciary in this country is not to stop the government from doing what it wants to do the role of the judiciary in this country is to interpret the law and to create an enabling environment through which the government can do what it what is required to be done but in a constitutional manner so i want to support his excellency by ensuring that let us create a radical surgery of the judiciary so that we can move together under the spirit of one constitution now usitishwe your excellency na mambo ya lsk ya mambo ya katiba institute na mambo ingine ya watu ambao wanakutisha unkia mtata usi usikubali kutishwa na lsk mimi nataka niulize judiciary kwa heshima rais alikuwa amesema kuanzia tarehe moja mwezi wa kwanza mwaka huu kila mwananchi ambaye yuko kazi atakuwa akilipa 300 shillings per person ule hasla wa chini wakora wakaenda kotini badala ya kotini kusaidia sisi waka block na kuishu court order kusema wananchi wasilipe 300 shillings so mimi nataka niulize mahakama kwani Kenya yenye muko ni gani nyinyi muko na watoto muko na wazazi ambao wajiwezi mbona mnazuia rais akisema let us pay 300 shillings kwa NHIF cover ya pili hii wananchi saidia wa Kenya milioni 4 wanaishi kwa ile slums rais amekuja na mpango mzuri ya affordable housing mbona nyinyi kama mahakama you need also to be reasonable mufikirie muskize kabla hamjapeana court orders kubaliana atutaki kelele kelele atutaki hapa nandi kama ni mambo ya maendeleo kuna ofisi ya mtu yeyote tunaweza fika na tunafikanga na tunaendanga tukiwa viongozi wote wa nadi tumeshikana mambo ya housing wanakata mambo ya finance wanakata wanakata na wanataka mshahara finance mshahara toka wapi na lazima tukakota pesa kuwapatia so hii maneno tunataka president asimame imara kama president ametembea kitafuta kura vitu ila na anasema ifanyike ni ila anajua wanaitu wanataka. 